Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you. Love all my subs, y'all are so awesome. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm really feeling it right now. Um, I really, I really do love y'all very, very much. Um, gosh, it's heavy, you know? Um, I am praying for you all ceaselessly. Uh, gosh. Yeah, I kept on getting the word remnant. Remnant and bloodlines matter. I don't know if that's resonating for anyone, but, uh, yeah, definitely kept getting the word remnant, so that's wonderful. And, uh, the Lord is just so faithful, and he's so good, you know? Every day that we are able to breathe, we are sucking in God's mercy, <laughs> so it's good. Um, yeah, I'm just really praying for blessing for y'all, and, um, redemption too. Those are two prayers that I've been praying. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit tired, everyone. <laughs> But yeah, I hope that in some way this blesses you all. Uh, the Lord has definitely put you all on my heart for a reason. He put this channel on my heart for a reason. At first I had no idea who the Lord was. But uh, turns out it has been the Lord this whole time who has been calling me to himself. If you go back to the very first episode, again it is very cringe. But uh, it goes over the beginning of my testimony. Uh, I am an army soldier. So, <laughs> um, I know that's, it's kind of weird. Because um, I'm first and foremost a soldier for the Lord, right? And then, you know, uh, there are authorities appointed over me for a reason. Uh, if they are in line with God's word. If they are not, then... There's going to be some friction points there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and you see that throughout, you know, biblical history. But, uh, anyways, so, I don't know why I mentioned that, but I just want you all to take comfort in knowing that God works through all things. So, throughout my whole testimony, uh, all glory to God, He has been calling me to Himself, and He who has started a good work, is going to bring it to completion, and I want to encourage you all with that. Uh, do not be discouraged, especially for times like this, because, I mean, the world needs hope right now, man. <laughs> they really need hope, and a lot of people are lost, they're confused about aliens and, like, AI and all this stuff, and we can have that voice, uh, the Lord's voice, you know, um, shining through all the chaos, right? So, again, I'm sorry, I'm kind of wandering all over the place, but I do want to read you all Psalm 52. This is kind of rough. <laughs> oh, man. And I know, like, at the beginning of this, too, I was getting Hawaii, and look what's happening right now in Maui, dude. God bless them. God have mercy on them. And I just think about fire with God's judgment. And it's really, really sad. Um, just praying for all of them. Believers over there. And non-believers, the lost too. And, you know, um, God having mercy on them. For real. Um, but yeah. Psalm 52. It says, Why do you boast of evil, O mighty man? The steadfast love of God endures all the day. Your tongue plots destruction. Like a sharp razor, you work you worker of deceit. You love evil more than good, and lying more than speaking what is right. Selah. You love all words that devour a deceitful tongue. But God will break you down forever. He will snatch and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. The righteous shall see and fear, 
and shall laugh at him, saying, See the man who would not make God his refuge, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and sought refuge in his own destruction. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. I will thank you forever, because you have done it. I will wait for your name, for it is good in the presence of the godly. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God is so good. Yeah, I kept on getting 52. And I was like, okay, Lord, like, you know, do I need to look this up? You know, where do I need to look this up? Um, it's praying about it. And then Psalm 52. For sure. So, yeah. God have mercy on us. Um, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. I think some of y'all know that now. So if y'all scared, <laughs> you should be, you should be, love y'all so much, and, uh, yes, praying, praying for you all, seriously, am. Yeah. love y'all so much, bye-bye.